Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the McLaurin series for this function. For uh, for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so two ways of doing this. What the first one would be to um, to get this series and then multiply it by itself. So uh, so it would be this multiply it by itself. So it would be so it would be this and then multiply it by itself. So it would be this and then multiply it by itself. So that would then give you that would then give you. So it, it would be this times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. And then it would be this times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. And then it would be this times this. That would then give you this. This times this. That would then give you this. This times this, I will then give you this. This times this is, is beyond. I'll forget about beyond this bit here. And then, uh, and then it will be, it will be this times this. That will then give you this. This times this. That will then give you this. And then add everything up. So be add up this. Add up. Uh, add up. Sorry. Add these two up. That will then give you this. Add these three up. That will then give you this. Add these up. That will then give you this. Add these up. That will then give you this, and so on. So this is your series here. Okay. Um, if you 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 can simplify this if uh, if you want to. Okay. But but this here will be your your series. So the second way of doing this would be to um, to rewrite sine squared of x as this. So uh, so if you look, if, if we start out with our series. If we start out with our series, this is cos of x, this is cos 2x, but start out with cos of x. So cos of x will be this series here from our table above. Uh, and then, and then uh, to obtain, to obtain this 2x, we would, we would imagine this 2x to be in the bubble and then put this 2x into here. So, so here you will have 2x and then here you have 2x, 2x, 2x. And then tidy this up. That will then give you this. Tidy this up. That will then give you this. Tidy this up. That will then give you this. Tidy this up. That will then give you this, and so on. So, uh, so that will then give us two x. That will then give us. So, yeah, that will then give us cos of two x. And then later on, we need to times by by um, by negative a half. And then later on, we're going to add a half. So we are currently here at the moment. We are currently here at the moment. Now we need to times it by by negative a half. So this is our series. This is our series. We need to times it by. Uh, hang on. So now we need to times this whole thing here by by a half. So it would be this whole thing here times a half. So a half times one would be sorry times negative a half. So it would be negative a half times one. That would then give you this negative a half times this. So you you you. You um you you take away one on the index, so that would be this, and then negative a half uh, times this, that would be two to the power of three. That would be two to the power of three, and negative a half times this thing here, so that would be two to the power of five, two to the power of five, and so on. So that would then give us that would then give us this. Now from here, so this thing equals this thing here. So add a half equally to both sides. So add a half and then add a half. So these two cancel each other out. All that will be left would be this thing here, this thing here. So this is your this is your series. This happens to be the same as above, but but just in a different form. Okay, so so two ways of doing it. Okay.